Hey floppies, last week we talked about the most boring miraculous episodes, now it's time for the most entertaining ones just because someone requested this. Believe it or not there are some genuinely fun eps, let's get into it. Stormy weather. This was fun like yes drama queen fuck shit up because you lost. I would do the same. Like you know you're worth miss Stormy ate them right up. And the fight was cool too nobody was snoozing unlike some other fights. 6 out of 10 on the entertainment scale yes we're rating them too. Dark Cupid. My 10 year old self was so happy watching this and to this day I still think it was fun. Like season 1 had its moments even if it wasn't serialized it felt a lot more goofy. 5.5 out of 10. Despair Bear. There's gonna be more party episodes in this video because there's always some shit going down in miraculous parties. And it's not drugs believe it or not. Hashtag toddler show. But I mean this is France so maybe there's drugs off screen I don't know. Chloe's party to prove to Adrian she was nice was unexpected and everyone was gagged metaphorically and literally because Marinette almost gagged when they kissed each other on the cheek. Girl you didn't have to kiss as a greeting a handshake would do but that gave 11 year old me an excuse to ship Clonette. But don't worry about it my dark days are over. I don't ship it anymore because I moved on to Lilanette. This was in my best episodes video too and I'm never taking it back despair bear you will always be famous. Like every time I watch this I feel 11 again maybe it's my nostalgia brain and maybe this episode actually sucks but I don't care she will always be iconic to me. Like shit I wanna be invited to that party 365 party girl are you bumping that? 8 out of 10. Yagantatan. This is peak comedy and just shows how silly and goofy Gabriel is because how do you accidentally acumatize a baby and just go with it instead of taking the powers back? The way he tries to reason with the damn baby as if it understands anything besides lollipop is crazy. This is peak miraculous if you ask me. It's so goofy and stupid you can't skip it. This is one of the episodes I would recommend to someone getting into Miraculous now. I mean I wouldn't recommend to anyone to get into Miraculous now holy shit I can't imagine anyone who knows nothing about it willingly doing that your life will be ruined but I think this episode is very representative of the show as a whole like. There's a bit of everything in it. Marinette doing weird shit to get close to Adrian but failing. Her friend smiling and nodding ready to call the psych ward for her. Gabriel being dumb as hell. And it really reminds you it's just a goofy dumb kid show. And my favorite part about it is Gabriel shoving a lollipop up his stanky booty hole. 8 out of 10. Sapotis. Another case of Gabriel's dumb ass acumatizing toddlers. Like his brain is just so not there it's fascinating. Alia's sisters wanna stay up but they can't so they get acumatized. Gabriel get your creepy ass away from these toddlers and babies you keep targeting omg. Anyways it was so fun to see Alia's first time as a hero and the superhero fan to a superhero pipeline was so cathartic. And the little sisters were fucking shit up just because they didn't wanna sleep that's so real for a toddler but just know y'all are gonna regret turning down sleep to play in like 10 years because I just turned 18 like a month ago and my sleepy. As tired all the time my time in the retirement home is coming I fear. 6.5 out of 10. Troublemaker. This is another one where I say you had to be there. This was peak to me when it came out. Baby daddy Jagged Stoner and his side woman go to Marinette's bakery to film an episode for RuPaul's show. How many shows does this man have I swear every time we see him he's doing a different side quest always booked and busy. Some of you could never. I still don't know why the camera crew went to Marinette's room. Like couldn't you all stay down there where you were supposed to be filming, but they have to do this so Adrian sees his pictures on Marinette's wall. Every 12 year old was gagged back then. Anyways it gets really messy and Penny gets overwhelmed and acumatized. And Sabine finally spoke up about the camera crew filming in random places around the house they weren't supposed to show on air and invading their privacy but Bobby Ross says the numbers are high. And Penny got one of LB's earrings this was crazy. Ladybug did some crazy shit to protect the miraculous because I would not super glue my earrings to my ears if you paid me. Like she lucky the miraculous ladybug reverses that and she doesn't have to deal with that omg zero survival instinct girl i'm smelling an infection through the screen also adrian jump scared marinette at school to ask about the pics of him on her walls Primary schools were never the same. This one is nothing too crazy but still entertaining 6 out of 10. Notice how we skipped season 3. Never beating the most boring season allegations. No because half of the episodes in my boring eps video were from season 3. Well actually, 
Controversial of me to say this and this might shock some of you but, season 3 finale, listen, was it absolutely terrible? Yes. Was it a fever dream that made zero sense? Well yes, but it was fun I don't care. Like would I watch it again? Not really because it makes me mad as hell, but I can't even lie to you as much as I hate it it was entertaining as fuck for some reason. Like this was peak trash content 6 out of 10. Gang of secrets. This is fun even if it's kinda depressing because Marinette is going through it for real. I don't like it that much but I'd say watch it even if the reactions to the reveal are mixed it's still important and the build up too. Maybe a 6. Gabriel Agrest. Another party episode but in this one there's crack for sure. Like the party for the elites without drugs is crazy. Gabriel you should be wearing white or the white powder will be visible. Wait maybe this is why he only wore white in season 5 because he realized we could see the powder on his suit Ijibal. But there's a lot going on and it's so fun to see Felix clock Gabriel's ass. If you wanna get into Felix's character more and the Agrest fan family drama in general I suggest this one because it encapsulates the tension built up over the years and you really get where this all started. Even if Marinette was there conveniently to ruin it again I wish I was there with these people I would babysit them and make them listen to Luna one third love and live. Boycott version. It's a 7 from me. Centibabla. This one had me invested as fuck from start to finish like it had me stressing. Alia get a restraining order what can this hoe do use his magic to undo it? Don't fuck with the law Gabby I know investigators in your universe may be useless as fuck and that's why you're still going but keep it cute or I will fuck you up. Like don't mess with Alia. Marinette sees nightmares about Alia losing the fox miraculous since she gave it to her permanently and Alia says she lost something and Marinette thinks it's the miraculous but it was the tarantula. Gabriel who knows she's Rena Rouge targets her house and makes a senti bubbler. Alia was so smart with this like they really made us love her this season she ate. Hot take I feel like dating Nina while knowing each other's identity is holding her back from her full potential as a superhero because she can be really good but she fucks up because of the whole identity thing only because it just so happens these two can't keep secrets. Like I don't know how LB thought this was a good idea knowing the secret identity thing would never work out between them and even giving them their miraculous in the same room at the same time but maybe that's just me. This was a good 7 I think. Season 4 finale. We love drama. And got it. Felix saw the cameras rolling and said lemme fuck your shit up. And did. Like you had to be there when this came out it was so fun. Everyone and their mamas was crying over Lady Noir hugging and Lady Bug blushing but I was cheering because no miraculous is meant no more side heroes. Risk had us all fearing for our lives it was serious. But like there was so much shit going down it was fun to me. 9 out of 10. Pretension. To me this episode is divided in two parts and I often forget they are the same episode but it's a fun change in pace for Miraculous. Both storylines going on had me stressing. First for Marinette to leave that hellhole alive and second for Felix to come out of that manic episode alive because Tomoe might cut his head off. I love that we saw Gabriel titties and both his side bitches. His ex side bitch and his new one watching him inject crack from the Quamis into his system to heal the cataclysm. The pancake shit was crazy too. Okay did the kids get the metaphor? Marinette clocked Gabriel so bad and even he knew it. 7 out of 10. Emotion. Another party episode but this one is different because it's the craziest one yet. Felix is having an episode and creates a post-apocalyptic world with his favorite Sentis plus Marinette because obviously. Again even though Marinette broke in there and she shouldn't have at least she ate with this dress with time so I'm not as mad but you see the pattern of her always being at these Adrian parties uninvited like girl get a job. But it was so fun to get a glimpse of Felix's brain and how his logic works and how he sees the world. Speaking of there's this fanfic that's like a what if Felix succeeded scenario and it's so good I'm thinking I should review it on this channel when it's finished it's one of the best miraculous fanfics I've read in a while and we're not even. Halfway done yet 9 out of 10 deserved. Revelation. Okay I know I said Lilo episodes are really repetitive and boring but unlike most Lilo episodes she actually does something in this one. Digs up Grave on Garby's name to hopefully expose his ass or at least that's where they are going with this. Like she is one Twitter click away from ruining his entire life even after death and after LB lying on his name. Lilo is one Twitter click away from ruining both of them actually. Also small Marinette turning into a 10 foot tall man was so funny. Natalie taking pics of the corpse in the basement was iconic if you ask me. Overall really fun episode nobody was snoozing so that's good. Wiggler ate for once. And let's not forget the Gabby pre-debut pics from when he was a brokey broke. When he still had brown hair. 
his humble era, the Mohawk ID, y'all should have shown us this sooner, but it did make me mad at times and that ruined the fun so I'm taking off a few points 6 out of 10. Another shocking one for my audience and you might think I'm being held at gunpoint when I say the season 5 finale. I won't repeat myself same things I said for the season 3 finale. Well, mostly conformation actually let's remove part 2 and act like it doesn't exist. Part 2 was kinda boring it was mostly just the stupid ass fight and stuff, but it was kinda iconic like I think the leak nostalgia is talking right now because watching the leaked storyboard was so fun. Like as terrible as it is you can't say it's boring. Not that it ate plot wise and if it did it ate shit and threw it back up, but I gotta give my 7s on the entertainment scale where they're due. I liked how Gabriel drugged all them kids meanwhile Ladybug is being hunted down by squid game guards. 7 out of 10 on the entertaining scale I fear. Another controversial one I added last last minute. For normal people not really but for the people that watch me and get me and we all shit on season 3 non-stop yeah I was shocked too but party crasher, shut up. A dreams guy friends and the NB plan an alpha male surprise party for him and they lie to the girls who wanted to plan trees. Party for all the alpha males like Wayham and Marinette. Like my ass was partying with them. Until Marinette's nosy ass showed up. And Gabriel complaining about the positive vibes was so funny. He ate that one little thing. The YMCA remake was kinda iconic but Chapel Roan did it better. I didn't even mind a dreams number one Stan Twink getting so mad over not being invited because the party was fun we did fentanyl and listened to Luna Boycott version though. That one cop pulling up to check if they got drugs on them was so funny too. Like what were those grown ass men doing? at this 14 year old's house I can't breathe. The ice cream man? Of course your minor obsessed ass wouldn't miss hanging out with kids. 7 out of 10. That's all for today. Before I end this I just need to tell y'all my pain and I wanna hold your hand when I say this because it's pretty much confirmed now that season 6 will not be serialized meaning it will basically be a season 1 dupe but with Leela. No one cheered. And the crowd goes home. <laughs>